Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo with RJO Futures. On Friday, uh, February 22nd, uh, we've got some nice uh, snowfall here in Chicago. Um, but let's get uh, straight down to business here. Let's talk about that crude oil market here. Now, go back and look at some of my prior posts. Uh, you know, crude prices here, we were trading around that 98 half area. I was warning traders there, you know, up at, in that area here, we were looking for a double top and, and you know, technical indicators along with some of these fundamentals were suggesting that uh, prices were going to start to come down. Now, I must admit, I didn't think they were going to come down as fast as they did, uh, but let's, let's fast forward to where we're at here. Uh, we are now trading here this morning, February oils around 92.62. We're off about 22 cents. Uh, we've been as low as around uh, 92.44 already this morning. Uh, on February 13th, we were up, prices were hitting a high. We were up at around 98.65-ish uh, area, uh, right in line with that double top. And here we are about a week later already, you know, we've sold off here a considerable amount and we're sitting down around that 200-day uh, moving average. So let's talk about, you know, why, why, why prices are moving down to these levels. Well, again, look back at some of those prior posts. I've been, I've been talking a lot about stockpiles and taking a look at these weekly inventory numbers. And here we are again, let's talk about about this week's inventory numbers here. EIA reporting another build, uh, this time a little bit bigger than expected, coming in around 4.1 million barrels. So if we look at our total stockpiles here right now, uh, we're at, you know, for this time of year here, you gotta go all the way back again to 1983. We're sitting around a little over 376 million barrels. So we're continuing to see you know, builds in the stocks. Let's take a look at year over year levels, sitting around 35.6 million barrels higher. Five year average, we're sitting around 39.4 million barrels higher. So we've certainly, as I mentioned in a lot of these posts, on the supply side of things, uh, the fundamentals are suggesting that the market is very well supplied right now. Talking about demand. Uh, you know, the demand side of things, you look at these economic reports that are coming out and it's still, you know, they're hit and miss. Some of them are, are halfway decent, some of them are a little, you know, uh, coming out a little bit worse than expected. But in general, I think we're really kind of skidding along the bottom here. I don't see anything that, to me, that is suggesting that we're going to see a large increase, uh, potential increase for demand here over the next, you know, quarter. So I think, you know, as a trader here, you got to be wondering, you know, what crude prices were doing up near around $100 a barrel. And obviously, as we finding out here today, uh, those prices have been pulling back. Now, the big question is, it's, you know, where are we heading here? Well, in my opinion, I think prices still have the potential to pull back here a little bit more. Uh, I think we're going to pull down somewhere around the 91 to 91.75-ish area, uh, maybe all the way down to $90 a barrel here. We should start to then, I, I think, consolidate, maybe find a little bit of support. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see another push back up. I don't think we're going to head back up to the 98 half area unless we really see uh, some big turnaround and we really start to see uh, drawdowns uh, uh, you know, in the stockpiles here. And so far, look at the theme there. Look at the weekly numbers there. The theme has been built. So until you really start to see some significant drawdowns there. Uh, I think crude prices, you know, we might stay in this, you know, lower uh, 90 areas, possibly dipping into the into the high 80s, but I, I'm, I'm not convinced of that here just yet uh, for some technical reasons, some other things that I'm looking at. Give me a call, shoot me an email, I'll fill you in, give you a little more detail on, on, on my thoughts there. Uh, but I've got some ideas and some strategies of what we could do to try to take advantage of the market now. Give me a call, shoot me an email. If you want to get put on that weekly distribution list uh, for the DOE numbers uh, that I mentioned here and the API numbers, what the expectations are and what the actuals are, uh, you know, that's, if you're contemplating trading in the oil market, that's a report you really should have. Give me a call, shoot me an email, I'll add you to that list. Uh, of course, remember that futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk. It may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.